Hi guys, my name is Casey Matter, and today we're gonna pull back the curtains on my latest single, Closer. Let's check it out. For those of you who don't know, I produce, mix, master, write, sing, everything that you hear from me, my music is actually done by me in my home studio. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Pro Tools session. It's freaking loud, holy shit. So when I write a song, I need something that has to inspire me. And that can be anything from hearing something on the radio, maybe while I'm playing guitar, I write, I'm playing something kind of uh, catchy and I think it's cool and I can write too. It could even be like a breakup or something or a, a, like a, an experience that happens in life where you just feel like you wanna talk about it or sing about it. However, for this instance, this song, the inspiration was from this vocal line that I actually found. Check it out, it's right here. Essentially, that was what the entire song was written to. And I didn't do much to it, really. I mean, I put a little bit of EQ on it to take out the, lo the lows and the mids and then the highs because it was e not the whatever. Uh, just an LA 2A compressor. And then just a bit of reverb just to kind of show you what it does. So this is a dry. And then with the reverb. So it's a bit of an echo, right? Anyway, so from there... That basically inspired me to write and create the entire track around that female vocal line that I absolutely loved. From there, it went straight to the drums. So this is a drum loop that I found and I loved it and I had to kind of cut it up a bit. Did a couple little tweaks to it, but I ended up looking like this and you'll hear it, it sounds really sweet. I'm an idiot. I'm so bad at this. Okay. So there's a lot of space going on. Obviously you can hear it's super, kind of has that EDM sound to it. I loved it so much. I, I said to myself, this has to be in the song. It has the presence. It's at the right BPM. I knew I wanted to have it. It had a lot of air and reverb. Um, but it's funny though, once I start writing, once I start putting things into the song, I start, my brain starts to hear more things. So this loop right here, I'm hearing it. But as it's playing back to me, I'm hearing the kick drum as well. I'm hearing another sound. And it's not even playing, like it doesn't exist yet, but my brain is already writing stuff in my head. And that's when I decided to basically grab this drum track right here. Right? And that together with that, I felt was like, kind of had like an EDM presence, but it, it felt right to me in the song. And you hear that. Basically, once that goes, I'm seeing this right here. I'm hearing a knock, like kind of like a, kind of like a Quincy Jones, Michael Jackson thriller, where you hear that like dong dong dong. And I was like, how do I get that in there? And with a bit of reverb and sound sampling, you get this kind of. All of a sudden, we have this knock right here. And it's these little accents are what brings the song, like kind of makes it unique. And that's the stuff I love to do in production. And you can hear it right there. I love that freaking. Oh. I freaking love that. Essentially, that was basically it for the drums. And then the kind of really, you know, the kicker that you probably hear it subconsciously, but you don't actually recognize it's actually happening is this bad boy right here. So at that point, I was like, okay, I'm loving where it's going. The drum track is beaten hard. There's this really cool vocal effect going on. I wanted to write some synths for the verses, right? So the chorus was kind of established. Now I was like, okay, I need to write a verse. Um, from there, I'd have to find out synthesizer I used. Okay, so basically, whenever I'm using VSTs, if I want like a synthesizer sound kind of thing, I exclusively use Anna 2. I'm a big fan of Slate Digital plugins, um, their mixing plugins. But you'll see though, you have to be smart with it, right? This is what the synth initially sounded like. That was the initial sound source. That's how the synth started. And then from there, all I did was I basically added an EQ and I just took out all the highs and then some of the lows as well and some of the mids. And you'll see right away, it's a totally different sound now. Now it's this.
from that to this. It's night and day, like it's not even the same sound. The sound is more menacing. You have to be creative, right? Like you have to know how to use what you have, right? So that's essentially the verse. So obviously from there, that's when I started writing. I'll just start kind of humming. Mm -hmm. na, na, na. Na 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 na. Right. So in the pre-chorus, I added a little like this, just a. And you almost don't notice it. That's the crazy thing. But it's it's just there, and it's just even enough to keep that subconscious hunger for more or thirst for more quenched, basically. Let's move right to the vocals. Vocals are obviously an important part. It's the part. I probably hate doing the most because I'm not really a fan of singing. Vocals, let's look at the vocals real quick. This is disgusting. If Leslie Brathwaite saw this, he would be disgusted in me. So here's basically the lead right here. Anytime, name a day when you were born. Okay, so basically EQ it a bit, add some cool effects, uh, consummation, saturation, EQ, revival, just gives it more body. I also added a C6 multiband compressor. I learned that from Josh Goodwin. He's like an amazing engineer. You almost don't notice it, but it, g it gives the vocals more life and more room. Like the, it's now, like I feel like the waveform is moving now. It doesn't seem so stale on my vocals and for anyone's vocals really, LA2A compressor every time. It just makes it sound sweeter and I love it. Then obviously we have some doubles here. Usually for the backing vocals, I don't actually pitch them. I keep them pitchy because I find they add more thickness to the vocal. For the chorus, for the chorus, here's the lead. I'm closer, the way I feel. It is hitting that saturation hard. And that's what I wanted. I wanted that saturation to make it sound dirty. So we'll look at some of the vocal layers. This is something I kind of am still learning on the go is, is layering vocals. I did it a lot with Justine who featured on my last song, So Alive, but I've never really done it with myself. So this was kind of the first song where I really tried to like layer my vocals. So here's some of the, here's the yell. The way that I feel. So here's some background just so you can hear kind of what I did. Here's the background. The way and again, it's just adding thickness to the voice. And then we have, I think this is harmonies. The way that I feel. And then for here, I just have a talk. For the chorus, you know, depending on what's going on. But for this one, I wanted to have like a bit of a talk just to kind of thicken the vocal a bit more. Hold me closer. The way that I feel. That's it, right? Add a bit of lo-fi to make it just a bit more thick. And for the final chorus, I added a couple extra things in. Obviously, when I did this, I added the the way that I feel. And I like that. I had already recorded the talking, so I was like, I need to get a bit more thick. So I just use a little alter voice, just kind of the way away. Just changes the formant you're using for your voice. And you'll hear it right away if I play it here. Here's the bypassed. The way that I feel. Engaged. The way that I feel. And you can adjust this. You can make it really thick if you want. You can go like. So for the bridge, super straightforward loop, just a basically. I loved it. I thought that was great. So I just threw it in there. And then that little organ. And that was mainly, that was basically it for it, right? And then you have that with the, with the loop. feel like whatever for that i just added a bit of uh compression and then obviously to kind of bring the tension up i added this little turn everything off so you can hear it and now again that was just on the that was just on the keyboard with anna 2 preset whatever it for the video today guys i hope you enjoyed it and kind of opened your world up to how i produce and start a song from basically scratch thanks very much see ya